Meet Guardian Prime, the flagship character of Nigerian comic startup, Comic Republic. Guardian Prime is more like the Nigerian version of the famous Western comic superhero, Superman. Fashion designer by day, the 25-year-old has one mission, fight and defend the course of Nigeria and make society better. There's also Hilda Moses Abonome, who uses her spiritual powers to protect the weak. The two are among nine of African comic superheroes created by G.D. Martins and his small team of nine just around this table in their small office in Lagos. I grew up consuming loads of comics. And, you know, we're in a society where I started noticing that um, the generation coming, we're not very big on listening to their parents or religion. And um, I now thought, what could I do to change this um, way of thought coming up? And I thought, okay, what did I use to use, what was I using to make my decisions as I was growing? And I remember that any time I had a tough decision, I would always think, what would Superman do? Or what would Batman do? And oh, Superman will stand up for this, and Batman will be strong against all odds. So I thought, why wouldn't we use this same method to, you know, install um, the right morals in the next generation and even the present generation, so that um, the same impact he had on me is the same thing that I would, I'll be able to share with the world. Um, of course, I'm Nigerian, and um, we already have, um, let me call it, Western superheroes. And we, I needed to reach people who are here, who are in Nigeria and Africa in general. So I thought, why not use our culture and our people and, crew and portray them as heroes so that they can inspire a certain set of people and show the world in general what Africa can do. Not only has Africa warmed up to the comics from this small room, Comic Republic has seen several downloads of its comics beyond the shores of Africa. The, um, we had 32,000 downloads, which was an improvement from 28 just in December. Um, actually, most of our downloads, to be honest, come from the U.S. at about 40%, and another 30% from Nigeria, with another 20% from um, the U.K. and the rest of the world shares. We have places like the Philippines, Taiwan, Zimbabwe, South Africa, share the rest 20 percent. It's a huge milestone for a firm that is just over two years old. The comics are first cast on a paper before being scanned into a computer where all the digital work is done to get a finished product. They are then uploaded onto the firm's website where people can download free of charge. All of our comics are digital because it's very easy to access them digitally and also read them digitally. So the scenario you now get from that, you know, from that, from what we have done here, is that you get a lot of people who normally would not even read comics normally or even read normally, actually downloading our comics and reading them and getting our message. With all its downloads available online for free for now, Comic Republic is only managing to break even. But GD and his team believe the horizon looks bright. For us to even be able to break even right now, I think is a good thing. The business is growing. We've gotten a lot of proposals from country companies abroad, funny enough. We've gotten more proposal. We presently have a printing deal with a printing company in the US saying that they want to start to print our comics and distribute them around the world. Um, we have a movie deal already coming for one of our characters, but we don't have any deal or communications um, agreement here in Nigeria. I see Comic Republic becoming a household name changing things in the Nigerian comic industry, not just in the Nigerian comic industry, but in Africa as a whole and the world as a whole, giving Africa a voice that has never been heard before. It's a dream they all share, and one they intend to pursue with much more intensity by creating more Nigerian and African superheroes. Deji Badmo, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.